<laughs> What's good, Fly Squad? First off, shout out Notary Squad for coming through off the early. Y'all already know what y'all need to do. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and make sure y'all like the video because we got something to talk about today. And it's something big. We getting in there. We in there like swimwear. We talking about the cover athlete of NBA Live 20 giving the NBA 2K20's cover athlete just released yesterday. But now I know what y'all going to say. Fly guy, you've made like four of these videos, cuz. Hey, look, it ain't even my fault. I just, when, when I see it, I just, I got... But before I get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Almost dropped my head. Worry about yourself. Now y'all already know, we've gotten several rumors of who's going to be the cover athlete of NBA Live 20. One of them being the Greek Freak. Another one being... A future star, we already know he's going to do well in the league. In my opinion, I think it's already said and done. My man Zion Williamson. One of these rumors actually came from the exact source that this one is coming from. So, can we truly and honestly trust the source that's actually stating these things? I don't know for sure, but he's already been wrong once. Hopefully, he's not wrong with this one. Forbes magazine writer Brian Mazik states that NBA Live 20 cover athlete will star Luka Doncic. You know, according to his sources, that's who's going to be on the cover of NBA Live 20. Coming off a rookie campaign where he did win rookie of the year, this is not a bad selection if this turns out to be true. Now again, like I said, if it turns out to be true, because he's already been wrong when it comes to Zion Williamson. He stated that EA Sports also offered Zion Williamson $1 million. However, Ty Stover was like, yo, where you get your information from? And he's one of those guys over at EA Sports for marketing. So we got to really got to take this with a grain of salt. I'm hoping that maybe we get Luka Doncic because as Brian Mazik says in this article, it would actually help for an international presence, especially since EA has gone international when it comes to the courts that they have in the game. Now, if EA plans to stick to this route that they've actually been going when it comes to international courts and so on and so forth, I still think they would need to do more when it comes to if they add Luka Doncic as the cover athlete. For example, something that they had in the past in NBA Live 09 was they had FIBA World Teams. That's something that I think that's possible if they are really working towards getting Luka Doncic on the cover, why wouldn't they have the World Teams as well? Especially with the basketball Olympics coming up as well. I'm just thinking I'm tying everything together. This might actually be true. Brian Mazik might actually have a source that actually leaked something out that was true. Also, like I said, if they do have FIBA World Teams, why wouldn't they incorporate that into the one as well? It is something that definitely could happen only if you use Luka Doncic as the cover athlete of NBA Live 20. Because you know, typically... Europeans aren't often used for cover athletes unless it's for a European edition of the game. I can literally name three players that were on the original cover athlete of basketball games that are not American born. One being Tony Parker. Then we have now, it looks like maybe Luka Doncic, possibly, and Joel Embiid last year. So it doesn't happen that often. And if they're going to push this world thing that they did, like what they did with Tony Parker, it would make sense to put FIBA in the game and to keep trying to grow an international audience because at one point in time, NBA Live had that international audience and they no longer have that. But if they can grow that just by adding Luka Doncic as the cover athlete, as well as maybe adding some international features outside of actually just adding K54 courts and Brazil courts and stuff like that, it could be big. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Do you guys really feel like Luka Doncic is going to be the cover athlete of NBA Live 20? Or do you feel like it's going to be someone else? Do you feel like Brian Mazik has led us astray far too many times already? Or do you feel like this is actually the real deal? I need you to let me know and comment below. Also, if Luka Doncic is the cover athlete, should they add FIBA World Teams? Should they do a little bit more when it comes to their international playability? What should they do? 
let me know once again comment below and as I've stated before, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on your notifications for gameplay, news, speculation. All of that stuff that you want to see is going to be right here. I promise. And if you could just drop a quick like, it ain't going to hurt you, but it will help me support your boy, your boy Fly Guy. I'm out. Now, what a lot of people think is that NBA Live has some huge budget behind them and they have this huge development team. They just can't get it right when it comes to making a basketball game. And you would be incorrect. Yes, EA backs NBA Live. Yes, EA creates NBA Live. And I completely understand that. However, for some reason, they still treat...